Well, I'm redoing her porcupine quill hairbrush again. Uh, Michael Badhan, the authority that I've been uh, listening to, uh, told me that it's too long. And it's uh, the, the uh, bristles on the tail are way too long, too. And it's actually thinner the whole thing than what I've got. And I agree, it is thinner. And I'm going to do some bead work on it this time because that's really what's on the thing. And these are old uh, hairbrushes that uh, belong to the Blackfeet. And uh, I can't argue with those. So I'm, uh, I made the uh, hairbrush stem the thing that the uh, skin of the tail would have been sewed or glued to or whatever they did to it. And I'm going to put it on this stick. Time to play with some clay. Now, the actual fur stuck out fur far from the uh, end of the stick. And uh, so I'm going to uh, have that on as, with, as well on this. I've just got to roll this out. I got to get this off. I uh, I didn't hurt my thumb. I mean, I knifed it a little bit with a uh, paring knife and uh, cut the, the tip of my finger a little bit. And I put a Band-Aid on, and the Band-Aid irritated the skin of my thumb. I'm, my skin's very sensitive to uh, everything nowadays, and uh, so I have to get special Band-Aids and special... Uh, tape to use on my skin or else my skin gets irritated and it gets real itchy and that's what happened and I had this on last night so I wouldn't irritate the skin any more than I already have and uh, it's starting to go away but I can't even use a regular band-aid I have to put uh uh, gauze on my finger and then tape it. So, yeah, getting old is not fun. Your body changes. Things that never affected you before affect you now. All right, I'm going to continue working on this and I'll be right back. I debated on whether to even film this today or video this today because I don't know how many times you have to see something before you get bored out of your mind with what I'm doing but uh, my goal is to do things right so that I don't offend anybody that's culture that I'm the culture that I'm portraying Heavens know, heaven knows the Native Americans have been abused enough in the, this country and I don't need to add to it yes the fur does extend out well past the end of the, the stick You can see how much thinner the uh, fur was on the stick than I had it before.
I still don't know how they would have used these brushes, how they would have used them on their hair. Mine is not the reason why. Mine is to do or make a mistake. <laughs> All right, I've put the uh, brush in her hand. Okay, that's her hairbrush. And uh, move all this clay out so of the way. You can here. see the difference between the one I had and the one I've got now. There's quite a bit of difference. And uh, some more detail I want to do some here. I just got to find my. I'm going to do some separation in the end of the uh, fur to give it uh, some character. I know it's hard to see it. Okay, I'm just putting a, redoing the texturing a little bit here for the beadwork. Whoop. Well, this has certainly been a learning exercise for me. Um, learning about this uh, type of hairbrush that the uh, Blackfeet used. And uh, I'm just glad I was, I have a good friend that uh, knows what he's talking about and was able to help me uh, be correct in my uh, design. I'm going to uh, set this aside now. Uh, it's far enough long for me to take it to the foundry and get a bid on it. Because um, right now I have, I'm not going to go any further with it because uh, it would just be a waste of my time right now. It's, it's as close to being done as I can get it. I've got the stripe to do on the blanket. I'll put up a picture of a trade blanket here and probably the color of the trade blanket that I'm going to do. Somebody suggested um, in my comments area of my, I think one of my videos, maybe the last one, I can't remember which, that uh, maybe moving her arm over and having the hairbrush laying down on the, you know, blanket in her hand would, you know, eliminate the cost of casting this whole thing out here by itself but i looking at it i can't see of any place where i could do that without completely changing the whole feeling of this piece by having her arm the elbow back further and her hand here at the end of her hand and the things laying down here so it's just not worth all that re-sculpting to do that i'll i'll keep it way it is for now. It was a good suggestion though. But uh, I'm happy with this the way it turned out. Alright everybody, I don't know what day this week we're going to be going to uh, the foundry, but I'm going to be busy this week doing other things, so this will be it until I go to the foundry. Good night, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.